Oh boy, milk and cookies. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. No, we're not going to have milk and cookies today, but it is interesting that uh, milk paint is uh, based on a casein, which is a milk product. Didn't know that. Don't judge me if you d already did that, but I just thought it was just a name. But anyway, so we've got us a, people, a piece of maple here, and um, I thought we'd have a little fun today. You know, last week I did the uh, Ocean Bowl, and I'll, I'll link that up here. Uh, if you haven't seen it and it was about dressing up a bland piece of wood now this on it says Maple and, and sometimes maple can look pretty good, but sometimes it is pretty plain So what I wanted to do is um, I saw a recent post in a wood turning magazine where they took um, a red milk paint as a base coat and then a black paint and went over that and then used sandpaper to give it a, a distressed look. So the inside is just going to be the plain wood grain. Outside is going to be a combination of these. So I thought we would just have a little bit of fun today and, and try something different, do a little bit experiment and just see how that works out. So I've already cut the wood uh, on a, a circle. It's about uh, five inches of between five and six inches wide and about two to three inches tall. So I'm going to throw it up on the lathe and uh, let's see what we can make. After seeing the coverage of the black, I am gonna let it dry and put another coat on. I won't bother you with that. Uh, we'll come back and it'll be tomorrow and we'll be ready to sand. So it's the next day and the paint has dried. Um, I did a little bit of research and it seems like maybe I shouldn't have put it on so thick, um, but I did some test uh, scratching here and while it's coarse, I think it'll work. We'll, Going to go down to 150 and then probably work back up through the um, the grits but the idea is we're just going to take off uh you know as much of the uh the paint that we feel is a good aesthetic so that's what i'm going to do now Thank you. 
little bit more off than I wanted, but it had a nice side effect. It got some of the uh, the underneath ma uh, maple coming through. So I'm gonna throw some uh, sanding sealer on it, go uh, with the uh, Axe Abrasive Paste and then the restoring, and let's see what it looks like. And then we'll decide if we wanna do something else with it. So I've got it flipped around. Uh, I'm really happy with the outside of the bowl. Uh, not exactly what I thought in, in, in mind, but I do like it. Um, we'll talk about what we would do differently at the end. But anyway, so let's get this thing hollowed out. So that's going to wrap it up today. Um, it turned out really nice. Uh, not exactly the way I had it in my head, but I, but I, I like it. Um, I think next time what it needs to do is not put such a heavy coat on the outside. Uh, probably should have put one coat and then just made it, you know, watered it down a little bit because this is milk paint. It is uh, made with water. 
But anyway, so that would have, I think, um, left a little bit more of the black on. And the other thing is, is I start, I went with 150 and I looked good at 150, but by the time I got it back up to 400, it had taken even more off. So again, they, just a couple of uh, things that, you know, maybe if you want to do this, uh, maybe do it differently is go light on the final coat or on the, uh, the, the top coat and then use a higher grit sandpaper. But all in all, you know, let me know what you think. You know, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Give me a thumbs down if you if you didn't. Uh, however, I'm going to give it two thumbs up because I really enjoyed it. Uh, again, one more thing is I'm, I'm using more and more of my traditional tools. Nothing against um, you know the uh, carbides, but I do want to you know enhance my skills and be able to do uh, different things. So nothing against carbides, still use them, but again, just trying to uh, you know get a little bit more experience. So I really appreciate you uh, sticking around with me. If you are new to the channel and you want to see other content like this, click down here. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, click up here to become one and click that bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.